All right, Dad Jack's going to blues here. So we got one quiche down. Nice little spinach quiche. We got cooling down. So I'm going to do a um, quiche Lorraine. The last time I kind of pre baked this pie crust, it kind of like, um, you know, kind of like puffed up a little bit. So. But I'm going to pre-bake this on my, my uh, pizza sheet here, my cast iron pizza sheet that Madeline, my niece Madeline gave me. So that's going in. So I have my, my skillet here. I guess I'll put it over here so it's better to see it. Like the wolf, better to see you, Goldilocks or something. Anyway, so I'm going to fry up some bacon. We got some nice... Found some of this back at a restaurant. Well, of course I got on the wrong burner again. That's the only problem I don't like with these electric. Is we get it fired up back there. So, what's going on? We're gonna cut some uh, garlic and onions. I like a little bit of garlic in my quiche Lorraine. Maybe it doesn't call for exact recipe. Doesn't call probably for it. But we're not putting too much. Maybe one more. Maybe two more. Careful when you do that. took to pre-bake our pie crust a little bit. Oh, it on the top. Sorry, we'll fix it. So here's a spoon I have from my mother's. You know, I just, I love, I love, here's a Hadley plate. I like to drain the bacon. Put a little bit of bacon grease around, you know, just to give her soak into that crust a little bit. You know, put a little flavor on that crust. You gotta use it, you know. I mean, why not? So, um. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, fry. Turn my fire up. I'm gonna fry up the onions. Then uh, while that's going on, I'm gonna pick up some of those drippings off the bottom too. I don't think I have quite enough left over, uh, some batter from uh, the previous quiche I did, the spinach quiche. So I'm probably gonna add one more egg. A little more cream. A little more salt. Again, you know, like, uh, I hate these in restaurants, especially this Corona, these, these hand grinders, even any kind of salt and pepper shaker. But at home, you know, use them. Then when you're done, wipe them down real good and, you know, don't, don't pick them up with nasty, greasy hands and so a little more uh, nutmeg. Uh, put a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of cayenne would be nice in there too, but that's it right there. We want to over season it. We 
get some good heat going there. We don't want to like over overcook them onions. You know, we want a little bit of texture. Cause they're gonna finish baking in that quiche. So. Uh, First layer down, I'm going to put some cheese. Kind of layer effect, you know. Okay, some bacon. Nice layer of onions. Could put ham, you know, the original recipe calls for ham also. But. Save a little bit because we're going to garnish the very top with a onion and uh, We'll go right along the edge with it too. So that, that crust has got to have some flavor. That way you're sure that you, your guests and your family are going to eat the crust. There's cheese on it. Let's put some on the outside, see what that looks like. It's 15, 20 minutes, we'll drop it down to about 275 and slow bake it. Daddy Jack's cold with the blues. There she goes. Daddy Jack's going with the blues. Hey Axel, come here. Dad Jacks, what are you doing, Axel? Hey, you smell, you know it's ready. You can smell when it's ready, can't you? Huh? All right, watch out, dude. Watch out, I'm putting it up. Hey, I think it's ready, so there it is. The, the little uh, extra deal we cooked. Look at that. That might be nice in a grinder roll. a piece of resistance uh, yeah I'm not sure about the uh, underneath here we'll, we'll let it cool down That's, that might make it hard to clean but nah that's the beauty of this cast iron you know not too bad tell you what 
So that's our quiche. We'll let it cool down. We actually like cold quiche. But uh, this is it. You know, Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues here. Check us out. Become a member of Cooking with the Blues. It's Patreon. P A T R E O N dot com slash cooking with the blues. We got all kinds of up, uh, different uploads we don't put up on YouTube. Uh, uh, I'm doing an audio blog in my ongoing cookbook that I'm writing. Uh, I'm doing some readings, auto, auto, autobiographical blog. Um, you know, got some memorabilia. We got some t-shirts being ordered up, available. And um, also this uh, Vince Thompson was playing here. Um, uh, we're doing, we did a live CD, uh, live at Daddy Jack's. Uh, we have two volumes actually going to be coming out. Uh, one and two. We've had, uh, I think, uh, six different bands on the CDs, but uh, this is a beautiful thing here. Again, you know, test it. But you can tell it's done because uh, uh, insert, insert and come out clean, you know. That's the name of the game. Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. He stays safe during these troubled times. Uh, tell those you love, if they're near you, how much you love them every day. Call the ones you love, all your friends. I'm getting calls from friends I haven't heard from in 20 years. One of my uh, uh, young school chum, you know, before school chum, you know, we built the tree forts together. Uh, we raised heck around the, you know, neighborhoods. We rode our bicycles, you know, three or four towns over. His dad had a beautiful pool table, nine footer with three inch slate and uh, tight pockets. And we learned how to shoot some serious pool, a uh, straight pool, nine ball, eight ball. Then we go down to Vernon Lanes and we got old enough and we'd uh, gamble a little bit. And then all through college cooking school, I I uh, kept playing pool, loved to play pool and, you know, made a few bucks here and there and uh, had some fun doing it. Uh, Glenn Trahan and uh, he's living down now in South, South Carolina. Um, just, just called me after about 40 something years the other day or texted me, I'm going to give him a call tomorrow. So, you know, reach out and, you know, make a list every day. Call somebody, set a timer, 10 minutes. He can make a lot of phone calls in an hour, two couple of, you know, a couple of hours throughout the day. And just reach out and let them know that you're thinking of them. And uh, it means a lot. God bless.